2019, Mountain 2, GSL Season 3, Code S, Reversal. Welcome back, everybody. We're here in the GSL Code S, and we're going to go to Keen versus Innovation. Um, we already had a pretty cool PvP. I'm, I'm really su uh, surprised and delighted to see that Creator played so well against, of all people, Classic. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Creator put out some very solid games. Fundamentally, they looked very good, and strategically, it was awesome. So, congrats to him. He deserves to move on, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Classic started to pull it together, and... Uh, almost made a miraculous comeback in that last game, but anyways, he's in the loser match, and that's that's danger zone right there. It is. Um, also, Classic overall just not playing as well as I think we're used to. I don't know if the fact that he has to go uh, into the military soon and might not even be able to finish his season is, is a factor yeah, here. I don't want to psychoanalyze too much, but just something uh, to note, little asterisk there. Uh, now we have Innovation versus Kane. Now, I said earlier uh, in our PvP, there's one clear player who's supposed to advance. I'll say that again in this matchup as well. Innovation is the favorite here. Um, yeah. But we've already had upsets today. Uh, again, I think I'm right. I think Innovation's supposed to win here, but let's see. Keen is not bad TBT. But no, and he's a good player overall. I mean, there's yeah. a reason why he's been in, what is it, 19 or 18? He's been in a GSL lot of codes. GSLs a lot. Uh, but, yeah, Innovation uh, is in good shape right now. I know that for the last couple of years, there's been spotty spottiness for him where there wasn't as much before. But right. he's definitely showing pretty good form. So expecting that victory. Game one will be on Thunderbird, and that is just loaded up. This is Keen versus what? Innovation. Africa S2, Keen. Reciprocity, Innovation. Big showing here for Innovation today. Yep, yeah, he's a, uh, he is a popular player, no doubt. Has been for a very long time. Innovation showing much faster gas here and immediately into a second gas. So, gonna be a little bit tech heavy here in the opening. Yeah, now we wait and see. Good audience showing here today. Always a different yeah. crowd here on Saturday afternoons here. Are you saying weekend mornings brings in different people than weeknight? Cass. I am. I'm going out on a limb here and saying it. Although some of the people have actually been here for both of those. I'm recognizing some people. Yeah, I'm course. good at, at recognizing the backs of heads. Yeah. Because of where we cast us from. So. Oh no! Don't turn around. We can't recognize yeah, you. Yeah. Then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's your face. I have no idea who you are. <laughs> um, so. Yeah, and you know, in case you guys are wondering why we have this Saturday afternoon cast, it's so that we can get a, a good time for the North American scene. It's their evening time there. Trying to get all the little regions covered yeah. so you can get some live StarCraft too, and then you can watch the VOD the other times. That's right. If you're really hardcore, you just have a rotating sleep schedule. Mm -hmm. So a very quick command center here from Keen going into his factory right afterwards. His innovation, continue on that tech. That's an interesting place for a Reaper, isn't it? It so is. See what's actually going to be happening here. Innovation, by the way, has thrown down his uh, command center here, hmm. albeit later than Keen's. Now we've had um, some pretty cool little poke-ins with uh, super early game pushes here. Do you think there's a possibility of that? You know, if you get a, a Raven um, a tank, mm -hmm. you know, there's there's several mixtures of units. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of ways to try to to do this. Sometimes it's with a medevac coming in and dropping, sure. hitting somewhere, and then you're trying to hit the front. Are there any opportunities that you see there for innovation? Well, you know, since he is making the uh, Hellions and and uh, Reapers, there is, like, 
he could have poked, but that time is kind of passed. You can see him setting up more defensively here, just in case of, you know, Cyclone or what coming across the map. Uh, but, I mean, even if you, you try to poke, the map is really long. You're going up a ramp. We see that Keen has already made a bunker as well, so it's, like, highly defensive. Can't really imagine anyone doing each other damage at this point in the game yet. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get some flying units out there. Here comes that first Raven coming out here. I, I was talking more about like a, a later on little push or a little attack in there, uh, um, not like trying to run in so much and, and, and kill stuff. But uh, we'll have to see if that yeah. does come into play here because you know Ravens are becoming more and more interesting as StarCraft 2 continues on. The little stuff we've seen already. I mean, we could talk about yesterday where we saw, um, actually, sorry, not yesterday, two days ago when we saw the um, Ravens come in and chuck down auto turrets to then kill off Stim, mm -hmm. which for us was just a complete mind-blowing experience of, like, of course that's another thing you can do here. Yeah. Um, I've got my fingers crossed for maybe something like that coming up here as well. Oh, it would be cool to see some very uh, creative attacks going on. Not sure exactly what we'll end up seeing. Keen is going for a very fast third command center here as well where his innovation continues to build up his tech. So if someone is to do one of those more technical, interesting attacks, it's certainly will be an innovation. So Keen is going to have to wait a bit to really get his macro rolling and get anything together that could do an attack. Yeah. Here comes Keen's Hellion now going into the main. And you can see innovation was ready for a drop, but this Hellion does come in here more scouting than anything else. Sees the Raven taken out by the Cyclones. He was totally ready for anything coming in side. Ooh, another factor here for Keen. So he's decided to go mech. Not a big surprise. This guy was uh, mixing in mech for quite some time, even against Protoss before the mech actually cut on. Yeah, mech's always kind of been in and out of StarCraft too. Yeah, there's periods where it's very trendy in certain matchups and it's very strong and then it'll either get figured out or phased out of the meta. It was quite a nice scan by Innovation, by the way. He saw exactly the moment that Keen had verified that he was going for mech play. So, definitely useful. We'll see where Innovation goes with that information. We had games um, in this season already where players were playing pretty well, but didn't fully identify that there was an unusual unit composition that was being teched out. Mm -hmm. So it's good to see him get that in there right away. And uh, a very passive game to start things off. Both players much more interested in showing what they've got in, you know, late game here. We've got the three factories coming down now. Meanwhile, Innovation staying uh, on bio here as we see Stim coming up as well. And Innovation, you know, versus a mech player, usually the bio player with tanks is able to do a little bit more on the map. Uh, coming out yeah, and trying to you know, get a little bit of control. Mech always takes... And there's some exceptions since the uh, you know, the Cyclone being incorporated into StarCraft 2. There's, there's, there's been a little bit of a change in this. We saw Gumiho especially express this in some of his games. But generally, the bio player is usually able to do something. And that's what we're going to see right here. Now, there's scans coming down here. The tanks are actually behind the bunkers. So Innovation should get some pot shots off on this bunker of Keens right now. Yeah. Uh, I don't think he can do too much more than this because of the layout of the map. Uh, if you try to push it too much, it's like, what are right. you doing? Uh, well, it'd be so ambitious to try to push up a ramp with Stim against a mech player. Mm -hmm. But he does kill the bunker, doing a little bit here and there. You know, this position from Innovation, uh, like maybe the Ravens can help him break. That's that's going to be what he tries. And look Disabling at that. Disabling on the Ravens. Yeah, kind of a big deal there. Tons of disables going off on both sides, but Innovation won't break this. No way, no how. No. In fact, he wasted all his Ravens there. So. This was, this was, was a bit foolish. You're, you know, you're, you're doing Raven against Raven. You're kind of trying to just bust. And, you know, back when Interference Matrix first came out, we saw a lot of situations where you could bust the mech player uh, with those disables. But you see, you know, Keen's well practiced with this strategy. He knows to right. disable the Raven and let his Vikings clean up. So that was, you know, that it was like innovation was almost going for a cheap win. He's like, oh, I hope you don't know how to. Do defend this so kind of kind of weird yeah it was a little bit of what i was talking about earlier will he try to do something fancy with a little push mm. to start things off and he did try that but yeah it did not work at all um and frankly losing those ravens like that that was the big tech unit you were leading up to mm. and so to lose those assets like that is pretty bad well innovation is adding a bunch of barracks and, and continuing forward with this bio play but 
uh, you know, you're kind of limited. Like, you can look at this as the mech player, and I expect to see a 